If I had a pound for every time a game where uh, the number three was coming out, I'd have three pounds so far. <laughs> you know what? And for me, I like it. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 News Drops. This show, which does like the number three, and Xenoblade, and video games, and many, many other things. <laughs> but I digress. So what is up everyone? On this day, day of days in which a new Bayonetta 3 trailer was dropped, as has more Xenoblade stuff, goodness. So let's get into it right now. And this is courtesy of Monolith of Japan and Z Xenoblade EM. So it's as follows. Nopon coins are a special currency that quite convenient. You can change it for items at a dedicated exchange. You can complete the collectopedia without the required items. You can cook, craft without materials, and even level up classes. And for me, can I just say, Monolith, you cannot imagine the amount of elation that I have for this little piece of news. <laughs> You can definitely tell they have listened to fan feedback for over the years because this is a much needed shortcut. So it's like Xenoblade X reward tickets. Pretty much. So finally, finally, you don't need to go across Gua Plains. You don't need to go through the distant fingertip. You don't need to go through Valak Mountains for rainbow slugs, for black liver beans, for frost glasses. You can actually just skip that. There's no other word for it, the tedium. <laughs> so for me, I love this because, hey, if you've got these knob on coins, guess what? You can fast track <laughs> and do things at a lot quicker pace. I love this mechanic now. I can imagine they're not going to be plentiful. You're going to get them at a rare occasion. But the fact that you can just use these for pretty much anything, whether it's crafting, cooking, or just doing side quests in general... That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Anything to make this game a more, a much more streamlined experience. I love it. And hey, it's almost like they listened to my criticisms from yesterday. <laughs> but hey. I mean, at the moment, I don't really mind it at all. But then again, that could just be me craving for Xenoblade 3 so much that I would even do collection quests in it. I will never forget the Grape Springs. I will never forget the Serious Enemies. I will never forget the Rainbow Slugs. <laughs> And that's why I will never forgive Juju. <laughs> Little shite. But I digress. Let's go up till the next thing. And at breakpoint, Nopon is often a merchant. <laughs> Nopon is often a merchant. <laughs> okay. If you have a break from your trip, it's a good idea to equip yourself. And much like how we saw in the original Xenoblade and, well, pretty much a lot of Xenoblade games in general, here we have Nopon merchants who can set up shop and seem like they will be a convenient place for a breakpoint. So if you are in between towns, no longer have, have to fast travel, just set up camp and there you go. And for me, I love this because it's very, it's very much convenient. Yeah. Monolith is doing their best to try and make sure this is the most welcoming game of all time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I love it. And of course, I'm a fan of Nuppon. <laughs> I know I know a lot of people may not be fans of Nuppon, but I love them. And finally, we get a little piece. There are places where green light rises in various places, which is also called ether channels. Here, you can sort ether that that is useful for adventure in, in the ether cylinder. So if you find it, you can actively collect it. Ether is used as material for equipment called gems, so it is necessary to become stronger. Now this creates a bit of a dynamic compared to, let's say, the original Xenoblade in which ether was pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like it was in the Bionis, Mechonis, it was what people were made of. Give or take. Yeah. But now it would seem ether is not quite as plentiful as it was in in the original. So for me, this is a nice piece of world building. Now, whether it is something to do with the original or what went on there, or if it's a problem exclusive to this region, I don't know. But still, though, it is a nice bit of dynamic and another thing to look out for. Now, we don't quite know what this ether actually does in terms like crafting or how it's used. I think it's like the original. You just collect the ether in a cylinder and then you take the cylinder to Riku and he'll craft gems from it for you, I think. I mean, that does sound like, uh, like a reasonable explanation, but will it have any more usage? Hmm. That's my question. 
Who knows? Either way, it is a nice little thing, and you know what? I'm all for it. And of course, we saved the best for last because Zin because you can't have a good Zine or Blade game without good music. And as it says here, Malak Plains is a song that plays in the plains that <laughs> plays that plays in the plains. Yeah. <laughs> no one's friends visit at the beginning of their journey. You can feel the beginning of an adventure that mixes expectations and anxieties. I'll run around the meadow while listening to this song. Yes. Yes, I do, game. So is this the song that will play when you're about to be stampeded by a rock bart? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? You start the game, you say, Wow, golly gee willikers, what a massive open plane. I'm just going to walk around and explore. Oh, hello, big monkey. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sounds like the right place for this, for that kind of thing to take place. But enough <laughs> of the jokes. Let's just sit back, listen to it. And you know what? Let's just, let's just enjoy. me that is a nice song to that will welcome you to what i can only imagine will be the gua plains of the game it sounds like a mixture of gormot and uriah <laughs> i mean for me i could definitely also hear like similar notes compared to a gua plains so for me it's combining a lot if there's one challenge that i can see the composers having with this game is that try to make it sound like the original also two, but also try and make it sound unique. Yeah. It's like, that is a lot to take in, but if there's composers that I know that have the clout and have the ability to do it and make it sound badass, it is Ace, Nami Kyoda, and definitely Mitsuda. So I look forward to seeing the sound around track because it's going to be a creative work of art, I think. I, because we heard a Manami Kyoda song the other day, I look forward to hearing more. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you definitely are a sucker for Minami, aren't you? Yeah, I am. For me, I'm more of a sucker for Ace, but that's just my kind of thing. And you know what? That brings me to uh, today's question. In terms of Xenoblade, who's your favourite uh, composer of the series? Is it Suda, Minami Kyoto, Ace, or is it Yoko Shimura because she was part of the original too? Or Kenji Hiramitsu, I think his name is. Yep. Or, or are you going to go for Sawano, aka X composer? <laughs> Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So you know what, guys? I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's videos. But before we leave, I'm just going to leave one thing really quick here. It's just a small thing, but actually, it's a big point I want to make. If you ever wanted the full artwork of the free Monados or the free main swords, then hey, clear art without the expansion pass nonsense. Yeah. But now, this brings me to a big question. Why does France get the best things of Xenoblade when it comes to the Europeans? <laughs> they got the only translated version of the original Monado archives. They were the only nation that got a steelbook version of the original Xenoblade. <laughs> and from what I can report, getting a demo or a preview of Xenoblade 3 has been a lot easier for French people than the rest of the world. <laughs> France, what do you have on Monolith? 
I'd love to know. <laughs> but I digress, guys. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with more things, whether it's Xenoblade screenshots, trailers, or anything in between, please subscribe to see more. And we'll see you tomorrow for inevitably more Xenoblade news. So, that's it. I've been Lightning. I'm Alex. And we'll see you later. Now, if you don't mind, I feel like I'm going to watch that Bayonetta 3 trailer. See you later! My god, Xenoblade 3, Splatoon 3, and Bayonetta 3, my god. My god, what next? Sonic Adventure 3? Can't we dream? <laughs> no. No. I stopped believing 10 years ago. <laughs> but why does that sound that depressing? <laughs>